Good morning, children of God. Good morning. I have a message for all of you today. So I have a pencil right here, but it's not sharpened. Now, it really isn't going to do me any good if I can't write with it because it's not sharpened. However, I have another pencil that has lead in it. Now, the whole purpose of pencils is for it to work together. You cannot write on any piece of paper unless it has lead in it and or it is sharpened. Now, the reason I say that is, is because today's lesson is about working together. In the story today that we will hear later, we hear about the fact that the room that Jesus is in is so crowded that they couldn't even eat. Can you imagine a place being so crowded that you can't even eat? I think it would go to a different restaurant. Anyway, we also heard that some of the people were saying mean things about Jesus. And then Jesus' mother and brothers tried to pull Jesus away from his work. And in other words, nobody was working together at all. Which is why, why Jesus then tells them not to say no to God's Holy Spirit. Here's what Jesus means by those words. Just like the pencils, it needs the graphite, the lead in it before it can work. We need God's spirit in us and in our lives before we can work well with each other. So this is also what Jesus says, that whoever pays attention to God is his brother and sister and mother. He is saying that when we pay attention to God, that we'll be working together with Jesus, just like a family, a really big, loving family. Nowadays, we call this family of Jesus the church, the body of Christ. But to make it work, we still have to keep doing what Jesus is saying in today's story. We have to keep paying attention to God and keep inviting God into our lives because it's what God's spirit is that keeps us working together. And when we work together with God and each other, amazing things happen. That's the good news for today. I would like for you to repeat after me for today's prayer. Dear God, Dear God thank you for Jesus. Thank you for Jesus. Who teaches us how to invite you into our lives. So we can then work together. So that we can Thank you and amen. Thank you and amen. Remember, God goes with you everywhere you go.